Exactly, this is Tiziano and I'm here at the Electrify with John Manning, the co-founder of this company. And here you see a gigantic monster. And this is not meant to fly any payload. This is meant for fun, okay. actually. This is a, um, a, a quad that you can you can actually ride. Now, it's a um, personal flying machine. It's a personal flying machine. Yes. No, I don't know. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I, uh, personally, I'm not that, that guy that could ride it. Um, John, why don't you tell us everything about this drone? How do you have um, an idea, the idea of it? It actually is not a drone because it's a manned vehicle. Uh, that's true. It, you know. Everybody kind of likes to use the word drone, but yeah. uh, certainly when you're sitting on it, that, that kind of changes the verbiage a bit. But uh, what we have is a, a hybrid electric personal flying machine. So uh, it's it's you can think of it as like a, a bullet bike with wings on it, you know, or, or like a, maybe a Star Wars speeder bike or something like that, or something that really needs to be in the next James Bond movie yeah, or Batman, you know, really really cool concept. Um, but uh, certainly, it also makes sense to be the perfect hood ornament on uh, on uh, the uh, big yacht, you know, taking taking it off your helipad on the yacht, taking it to shore, that kind of thing. Awesome. So how did we uh, how did we come up with it? Uh, we saw that there was a need for innovation within the uh, drone market, and uh, our company is really based on the idea of maximizing payload mm -hmm. and range for multi-rotor aircraft. So what we have done is we have incorporated um, a couple innovations, patent pending innovations on an international level that actually accomplish those goals. They increase payload and increase range. The first thing is the hybrid mm -hmm. electric part of that. Yeah, so the, I mean, show, show me that. So this is actually a jet powered multi-copter. That's the, that's the hybrid part of it. We actually use a turbine uh, you know, like any other jet engine that you might find on like an F-16 to uh, offset some of the thrust requirement required for the uh, uh, electric lift. So electric lift has come a long way and it, it's a very efficient source of power, but the problem is is that it relies on low energy density batteries, yeah, which, don't tell me. <laughs> which we can replace with fuel by uh, offsetting some of the lift with the turbine. Um, so that's the hybrid electric part of that. And then the uh, the other element is the uh, the wing surfaces here. Oh yeah, look at that. So uh, they have the, an, yeah, they have an optimal uh, pitch so that you have an optimal um, angle of attack. Yeah, um, that's interesting that you noted that because uh, basically what happens is if you think of uh, a traditional multi-rotor, I'm gonna use this little mm -hmm. uh, card here as an example of a traditional multi-rotor. It basically hovers in a flat mode mm -hmm. and then goes yeah. forward on an angle. Yeah. So if you were to look at that, it kind of increases the drag profile on, on the quadcopter, and that mm -hmm. doesn't really make sense. So what we do is we actually hover on an angle and go forward uh, in a level manner, yeah, which, yeah. Uh, yeah, which makes sense. Which reduces the drag profile, and then by having the airfoil surfaces, obviously that increases the lift and decreases the energy demand. So if we, if we back up and take kind of a look at that quadcopter, you can see the thin lines that you're seeing and the drag profile is very low. And uh, that's a result, it's currently on about a 20 degree nose down pitch. And so- Oh, uh, pretty fast. Right, so we haven't, we haven't really seen a quadcopter like this in the, in the past mm -hmm. where it's been optimized for forward flight. And so that's really uh, where we gain a lot of the efficiencies in the, in the payload. I like that idea of the jet turbine. That, that should it should be so noisy and it should make you know the perfect sound for this for this awesome machine. Absolutely, I mean, it's not like not like a buzz, just a bzzz yeah. or this oh, the electric motor, but this jet is just incredible. And here you see that you have an iPad. Yes, so you control yeah. it So with this iPad. would be your uh, your OSD, your on-screen display here, oh. and uh, so you would be able to get all the information that you would be able to get on when you're flying an FPV style system. How do you steer this thing? Uh, how do you control uh, it if you, well, were, if, you, if, you, if you are to, uh, to ride it? This is a functioning prototype and yeah. so, so obviously there's, no, there's a yeah. lot of things that are that are coming along but the idea is, is that you'll be able to control it on board with the use of joysticks mm -hmm. or you'll be able to uh, to fly it remotely. 
Nice. With like a controller. <laughs> nice, nice. I mean, I like to be up to date, to stay up to date and know when, when you guys are going to do the you know, first man flight, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, or we're going to do any tests. I see that you're, you're based in... Salt Lake. Salt Lake, so yes. the perfect city for, for this kind of test. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. A lot of uh, flying test areas and things like that. So. Yeah, a lot of records also <laughs> yes. established there. Yes. Okay, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you to the next booth. Thank you.